All right. So I'm gonna answer a question because I have a few. Uh, maybe more than a few. I don't know. So I'm gonna try to answer a question every now and then. Uh, sometimes they'll be in video form. Sometimes they'll be in text form. Because I don't know. Maybe I feel better, more comfortable explaining it in you know text than talking. Um, so this question is from Eden. Um, we're really, really close, people, so I love you, girl. Uh, so one of her questions is, what inspired you to pursue directing film? So if you didn't know, and you didn't read my, like, little profile thing, whatever, which is really boring, like, every- I hate writing profiles about myself. Um, but I always mention that I am an aspiring direct- film director and screenwriter, that's what I want to do. Uh, that's why I'm here at the school to, you know, learn about film. Uh, so what inspired me? I can't actually remember what sparked the idea in my head to do movies. Um, like what specific film or whatever it was. I I don't really know. So I'm going off vague memories. I really have a terrible memory, so I'm just going off of fuzzy things. Um, you know, everyone goes through, like, different things they want to be when they grow up. I went through a lot of them, so I guess I'm normal in that sense. Like, I used to want to be, like, a math teacher, an English teacher. I actually want to be a cheerleader. Um, <laughs> choreographer, singer, I don't know, a bunch of things. And somewhere, I guess, I'm assuming before high school, when I, they had, uh, my high school used to do, uh, um, kind of like major specific classes, like, oh, you want to do psychology, then you will be called this department, or whatever, so they had something like that at my high school. Fortunately, they didn't stick with that very long, like, I think they, they stopped doing that like right after my freshman year of high school, but somewhere before that, I knew I wanted to do film because I entered in that area when I came to high school. What brought it up, I really don't know. I think something came to my head when I, I always like, you know, reviewing things and like expressing my opinions on things that I really love. And movies is one of them, obviously. Um, I guess my mom kind of pulled me into always watching movies. Like, she brought me to the movie theaters when I was a little baby. And I always went to movies with her all the time, and then I grew up a little bit more. I would go out with my friends, and yeah. So movies has always been a part of my life. I mean, I guess really Disney really sucked me a lot. My mom told me I used to sing Disney songs all the time. Um, anyway, that's <laughs> really uh, unrelated, but I guess... Since I like reviewing things, like, I guess that's what sparked this vlog. And even then, I always was a writer. But, um, I guess for my, I noticed, as I grew, like, older, I noticed that I looked at, diff at movies differently than normal movie watch goers, you know? Some people just go to the movie just, you know, for pure entertainment, and when they watch it, they don't they're like, oh, I like this character, and this and this happened, and blah blah blah, and the story was good, or this was really bad, or whatever. And I think you know what you want to do movies when you actually like see all the technical stuff where you use like more technical words. Like, oh, I really like the camera angle here, and really like show the intensity, or the suspense, or blah blah blah, and the music here was just great, and it just made me really sad for this character. And, or they should have done this, it didn't seem realistic, or whatever. When you have that view, then that means maybe you do have, like, you have a critical eye, like, the perfect eye to do, like, movies, and that's what I discovered when I watched film. And then I learned, that's what I want to do. Um, I wrote my first script, I actually wrote two scripts, I think, around the same time. I, I wrote my first script in seventh grade. 
I tried to make the movie, it never really worked. I was always bad with like time management. But I had actors, I even had contracts, I even had where I wanted to film it and everything. But I could never find the time to actually film it. And to the state, I don't think I really have these scripts anymore. I had them all like printed out. Uh, maybe one of the people that was part of it, Fleming Gas, has a copy of it somewhere. But I don't have it anymore, and I think it died in our family, our old family computer, because I think there was a virus, because I had a terrible addiction to The Sims, and so I would always download stuff for it, and it got a virus, and yeah. Sims is a horrible drug, by the way. I miss that game. Um, <laughs> but I think somewhere there, in seventh grade, I guess, clicked I wanted to do movies. So, yeah. Since I'm here, I learned that I really, I got confirmed that I do have a good eye for, like, camera angles and stuff. Because we had to shoot a PSA, like a television uh, public service announcement and my teacher commented that I had really good camera angles and I showed my friends and family some of them that got to see the YouTube link that's hiding of my first film even though it was too short the project I'm still proud of it my partner was proud of it but a couple people said that I did really good editing and camera work uh, I'm not gonna take all the credit but like, cause I didn't really do all, most, all, all the camera work. Some my partner did some of it, um, and I did all the editing. But she helped me along the way to figure out what is what. So there you go. So, but I know I don't want to do camera. I'm really terrible at camera, and there's so much, so many factors to camera. But I'm really good at like, you know, what I want and how I want it, and how I want it to look, because I had a director after how to do stuff, because um, I took a lot of acting classes in uh, community college. And since I see how Hollywood works makes me more motivated to like get into the film industry and change it, because I really, I'm a strong, I really, really love suspense, horror, thriller, scary, horror movies. And I, lo I watch a lot of Asian ones because they're so, I don't know, I like to think. So I like psychological stuff. So, and a lot of American stuff borrow from Japanese or remake Asian horror movies, which is kind of, I don't know, I don't get the point. And Hollywood just pissed me off a lot, so it just motivates me to change everything and make everything better because everything is just a remake of other stuff. Um, the other thing is, is I, the reason why I want to be a screenwriter too is because I don't, I'm really picky, perfectionist type person, and I don't really, tr I, I guess I have trust issues or something, but I don't really trust handing off my hard-earned work of writing to someone to direct it and just screw it all up because I have a specific vision in my head and I'm the only person who knows what that looks like. And nobody else can portray something like that unless they're like psychic or something or other. I really don't know. And I can also fall back on that because everyone needs writers and I guess I'll just have to get over my trust issues, whatever, to fix it. But that's what I want to do and that's what inspired me and after watching things like The Dark Knight, one of my favorite movies, um, I don't have one absolute favorite movie, sorry. So don't ask me what my favorite movie is, because I don't have one. Um, it's like asking, like, who's your favorite kid? If I had kids, I mean, I can't pick. Um, but stuff like Dark Knight and Strange Circus and Ichi the Killer and Bangkok Love Story and Color Purple, things like that is just so inspiring and beautiful, and it's and it causes discussion and I want to do something like that. I want to make people think I want to inspire people. I want to touch people with my uh, creativity. So having this like review blog and you know expressing my opinion helps a lot with my creativity and uh, 
improving my writing skills and such and doing vlogs helps me be more social, I guess. So I hope that answers the question. Um if any of you guys have any other questions you want to ask me about myself, go ahead. You can leave a comment or you can shoot me an email. My email is always below in the description. And that's it. I'm gonna go finish doing music reviews and chill out. Bye. <laughs>